folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to an own Ask Diecast review. And today, well, we have the Coil of Joy Darlington throwback. And of course, this is to Marty Robbins, which I got some uh, some fun stuff to talk about regarding that. And uh, without further ado, let's go and get this Diecast out of the box. Alrighty, folks, we're out of the good old box. And first thing I noticed, the side skirts are not painted on this, or they're, they're not black, they're purple, which is something we usually don't see on these next-gen cars. But without further ado, let's go and dive into this. So, of course, pick this one up from our friends over there at Circle B Diecast. You can too, and you can save on shipping. They got um, some cool paint schemes that uh, Circle B has sponsored uh, for Coil of Joy and company throughout the year, so pretty cool. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this diecast review. So you got the 670 horsepower right there on the hood. Not sure uh, how much horsepower they really have nowadays, but you got stacking pennies with Core LaJoy. I think it's his podcast or something. Uh, you got LaJoy. You got the Chevrolet bow tie. The whole car kind of has a matte satin finish to it, which is interesting enough. You can't see a little bit of a blemish right there on uh, the hood, on for hood, but the roof, unfortunately. Go to the front of the car. And I, I believe Mike Joy coined the colors of this car is magenta and chartreuse. So uh, definitely a unique color combination. <laughs> you got the triple sevens, which is pretty cool. You know, I'm only okay with triple digit NASCAR numbers for the all-star race or uh, the throwback. That's the only time because I could not stand it on the NASCAR games where you play like NASCAR 07 and you had to run like a number 159 when the year before you could run whatever number you wanted. So uh, I got the uh, Sunoco, Sunoco decal, Spire Motorsports. Go to the left side of the car. And speaking of Circle B, I think they're, yeah, they're, they're right there underneath the O on Coeur de la Joy. You can see at the bottom of the side skirt right here, which is pretty cool. So you got Coeur de Joy on the side. Uh, I think it's a Marty Robbins signature or something there. I'm not sure. Schluter Systems. Got the triple sevens. Um, which is pretty cool. I, th I think they can make a slot machine style paint scheme with that. Uh, Goodyear, NASCAR salutes, NASCAR throwback. A whole bunch of smaller decals here on the side. You have the metallic wheels with the throwback lettering. Very bright yellow. Not day glow, but it's certainly brighter on camera. Corey LaJoy, you get the Built Bar logo. Um, Gets Chevrolet, Spire Motorsports, FOE, Wix Air Filters, and whatever that is. So this paint scheme, that's actually really cool, the Nations Guard logo. So this paint scheme is a throwback to Marty Robbins, right? Well, you've probably heard of him a time or two, and most noticeably, at least in the modern culture, is for his music on a very certain Fallout game. If you've played Fallout New Vegas and you heard his song Big Iron, ding, 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 he's the one that sung that. He's got a lot of really good music, especially if you're into the Western stuff. Um, so not only did he make music, um, and that, of course, you know, later on they actually put the music in the Fallout game, but he also drove a stock car, <laughs> and this was his paint scheme. So imagine that, being a, a, you know, a country music, music artist, and also being a stock car driver. It's pretty interesting stuff. Got Nations Guard, Spire Motorsports, 777 Camaro, go to the right side of the car. It's an awesome looking paint scheme, man. I mean, it's just... You know, in 2021, they did the um, the Alan Kowicki throwback, which was perfect. And the next year, they showed up with this. I, I, I tell you why. Spire Motorsports in the 7 camp, they know some good throwbacks. Beautiful, beautiful paint scheme, man. I love it. I freaking love it, dude. That is so cool. They freaking nailed this paint scheme, man. You go to the roof, you do have... Oh, you have a pretty gnarly blemish right there. Uh, unfortunately, we got the very cool Retro 7. It does remind me of the slot machine uh, number 7, which is really cool. Uh, no number or number, but um, sponsor logo on the roof. You got LaJoy right there in the back window, and then you have Fraternal, no, Fraternal Order of Eagles, which I have no idea what that is. I guess it's like a nature conservation thing for birds, or I have no idea, so... Uh, who knows? But, what an awesome looking die cast here, guys. I mean, if you're a LaJoy fan, if you love just good throwbacks, I would highly recommend picking this one up, guys. This is a, such a cool looking paint scheme. It's retro, um, you know, the triple sevens on the car. Technically, it's still just the number seven, I think, but they, you know, added these extra ones as just part of the paint scheme, quote-unquote. Um... 
but hey, I'm only okay with it for throwbacks. I don't want to see this on cup cars in the years to come, which basically means they're going to do it eventually, but that's besides the point. I feel like two-digit numbers um, gives the, the numbers more character because if you have triple-digit numbers, then that basically means you have, a th- what, 999 different numbers, give or take, that you can use. It's going to be really hard to keep on the traditions of numbers in NASCAR uh, if they ever and when they do that eventually. It might be 30 years from now, but I could see it happening. But anyways, um, what an awesome throwback, man. Definitely one of the best in show. If if um, William Byron did not have his darling to throw back, this might get the vote for me because the, the William Byron exalts a Jeff Gordon throwback. I wish he made that a primary. That's how good it is. Um, but wow, what an awesome diecast, guys. Make sure to pick up your copy of this paint scheme. I don't know if it's going to be in the Authentics line, so if you're waiting for that, um, good luck to you because the Authentics line, as far as I'm concerned, um, it, it, it's it's a dumpster fire as of recently. Got to get it in the Gold Series, the ARC, the, the boxes, whatever you want to call these joints. Got to get it in this version, guys, if you want to uh, pretty much guarantee you get it and you don't have to worry about the PTC mold or any of that nonsense botch decals. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please give it a huge thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.